guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in I want to say a big thank you to everyone that has been supporting my channel and everyone that has just been showing so much love and support I want to say a big thank you to you today is another exciting video I'm super excited I'm gonna be doing this look for you in the video and I'm gonna be showing you how it's done step by step and just give you a little hints here and there this is the jumbo braid goddess ponytail and i'm going to be doing this in the video so without wasting much of your time let's get straight into it so i'm going to start by adding some edge control edge wax extreme hold um, to my edges and around my head just to give it that extra hold when I tie the hair in a ponytail. I decided to add some to the middle of my head because my hair is so thick so I really wanted um, the hair to really grip so you could do that or you can decide not to and now I'm just gonna take my brush and just give it that good brush through to make sure everything is evenly distributed and now I'm just gonna take my eco styling gel and I'm gonna add some to the front and around my head I'm just gonna give it another brush one last time before I tie everything in a ponytail. Now after that's done, you just wanna twist the top and add a little rubber band around it. Then you want to take your head wrap and just wrap it around your head to give it that flat smooth feeling that you want the goddess ponytail to have. I'm using the African braid. You could use any other braid that you want to use and I'm just going to take one of them. They're so long, they're 84 inches so I just need a one and I was going to cut that in half to give me the length that I was going for. So I'm just going to unbraid that and just smoothen that out. I'm going to cut it up into two because it was so long. And I am just going to comb it just to make sure the hair is nice and smooth. And now I'm just gonna pull out some hair randomly just to give it a nice goddess twist structure that I was going for. I'm gonna comb it one last time and we're good to go. I'm gonna take my ribbon and I'm just gonna tie that around and that's what's going to grip my ponytail on my head. And now you're just going to place the hair on the actual ponytail on the head and braid away ladies, braid away. So I am trying to evenly distribute the hair in three parts because you do not want one part looking thinner than the other so you want it to have the same texture all the way down. Now as I'm braiding I am leaving out strands of hair. Now this is an optional 
step you could do it if you want or not but I was trying to do like a over the top goddess braid with a lot of curls around it so that is why I decided to do the step Once you're done braiding, you're just going to turn the braid over and take your bobby pins and pin in the braid. And now you're just going to add the rods around the hair that was left out of the braid. Once you do that, you are going to dip the hair in hot water. I decided to do that off camera to save a lot of time and hot water is just so scary for me to do on camera. Now after it's been dipped in hot water, you're just going to use a towel and dry it. I decided to use a blow dryer. I dried it off camera as well. And this is how we turned out after. You guys, I cannot stress enough. I was so in love with how deep the curls were and I was just happy with how it turned out. This was my first time trying this and it just turned out so good. I was happy. And now I'm gonna use these hair decorating filigree tubes just to the different parts of the braid to give it that nice antique look. This is how the look turned out guys. I was super happy with it. I tried it for the first time and it turned out so well. So you guys can try it too. Thank you so much for watching guys. Thank you for the love and support. Don't forget to subscribe if you've not subscribed. And leave me a comment down below in the comment section. So for me it is goodbye and see you in my next video.